Just take a look at a normal traffic pattern here. Logan Field traffic, that's the 8 turn left base for runway 05, Logan Field traffic. Just come up initial here, pattern altitude, which is going to be 800. And we'll demonstrate just a normal on-speed approach. Look at traffic, RV, Sam Bravo, Muse, initial runway 36 option, Ruckle. Unstable oh, high green. Here. Gas, undercarriage, mixture, propellers, pumps. Logan Field Traffic, that's the Acer, turn to final for runway 05, Logan Field Traffic. And throat, all right. Landing checks are complete. So as we decelerate, we get down uh, below VFE, we'll just go ahead and deploy flaps. Sorry about the retina burn, nothing I can do about that this morning. Notice flap indicator shows flap 20. Roll out here on downwind. Go to flap sporty condition. Taxi up here to the perch. And we'll basically be on speed all the way around base final. There's an on speed condition. I've got uh, quite a bit of overshooting wind today out of the east, about 22 knots up here at pattern altitude. Wind out of the north at the surface. Negative turn back. So anticipate the overshoot, we're off the perch, and I'm just maintaining an on-speed condition. Okay. And just flying the tone. Notice the difference between the slightly fast, there's a slightly fast condition. There's an on-speed condition, let's get slow here intentionally. There's a slightly slow condition, so the tone gives me all the feedback I need for my pitch control. And I'm just controlling my glide path with the power. So basically landing Navy style. Unstable low green. Pulling out on final. Uh, we got the uh, trees at the end here, so I'm just going to put in a big old slip. Mixture's rich. Landing checks are complete. Let's just pop on down here to the TDZ. We'll go around and we'll demonstrate that one more time. So on the go, you can see as I clean up, there's our flaps 20 accelerating. I typically climb at elevated max, approximate VY. That is the uh, bar aligned with the pips. Blue Chevron just lit. Turn back possible. Maximum rate of climb. Welcome traffic, RV7 Bravo Ring is right closed. Traffic, the 36 option. We'll just slow things down here because the RV4 is... Uh, a quick little airplane with a really good thrust to weight ratio, so I'll just pull the power back. We'll keep things at a slower pace. Again, we've got this big overshoot and wind. So we'll crab out here a little bit on downwind. There's pattern altitude. Flaps 20. Flaps 40. Crab to the perch. Landing checks are complete. There's an on speed condition and off the perch. Welcome traffic RV Sembra over me as a right base gear down option. 3 6 left, Ruckle. And nothing wrong with a slightly fast approach. Notice how the airplane accelerates if I let it fall. Unstable, I fast, all low, that green. Back from the system. Now I'm so fast, I don't even have an AOA tone. Again, let's just uh, slip down here into the hole, and we'll do one more demo. What a traffic said, Bravo, me as I go right close traffic three six for the full stop, Ruckle. Off field. Turn back possible. And that's just oral feedback I'm getting from the uh, TLAR system as far as uh, my ability to maneuver back to the runway if we have an issue. We'll fly a little wider pattern this time. There's pattern altitude. 
Power's coming back. Elevity Max is close to VFE, so I actually get flap feedback from the tone itself as well. So once I get tone on the airplane, I can go flaps 20 and flaps 40. Manual flaps, I have to actually slow down a little bit, be able to deploy them effectively. We'll trim the airplane up, we'll finish our landing checks, we'll confirm that's good, and then we'll wait and we will simply roll off the perch. And again, we're just gonna maintain an on-speed condition all the way around, super easy to do this. Local traffic RV, some Bravo Romeo is a uh, right base gear down. Negative turn seven, back. This time I'm uh, being a little more thoughtful with my energy. Don't really want to fly in the tree canyon until it's time to land. So. Again, I can adjust my glide path of power based on the feedback I'm getting from the tone. So we'll do that. We'll keep it up high here. Unstable, right low the green. The trees. Mixtures rich. Landing checks are complete. And now we'll let it settle down into the hole and do it without any sort of big slip or anything else. And again, I'm getting all the feedback I need from the tone. And you can hear the airplane slowing down as we put her under three point attitude. And now it's just a matter of rolling the wheels onto the ground. I can't carry too much energy if I'm on speed on approach. So it's always going to be a matter of just rounding out and touching down.